2021 was a amazing year for the Knights of Horror. Uh, but on a personal level, kind of wasn't the best ending for me in November and December. But we're here to talk about the good, not the bad. Uh, I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror. And this week, before we start jumping into our regularly scheduled program, uh, I thought I'd share with you my top 10 moments of 2021. And there's so much to choose from. I mean, you know, we've done amazing podcasts with a lot of amazing people. Um, we, we've created tons of tons of content in 2021. Uh, haunts came back. You know, there's just so much to talk about. So let's just let's start from the top, uh, starting at number 10, Halloween Depot. Um, Halloween Depot came at a time where things were still uh, shut down in the beginning of 2021. And it was an opportunity to get us that convention fill again, even though it's a much smaller location in place. It, it was just good to be back in that environment of vendors and and like minded people who are into the horror community and and the haunt community as well. And to see a lot of these people who make a lot of their own custom stuff uh, and sell it, and a lot of these people make a living off that kind of stuff. But to get the opportunity to meet a lot of these people. Uh, meet a lot more people uh, that I would become friends with later on. It was great, and it got me closer with uh, Trickster Trickster, um, who's a very good friend of mine, and uh, I've gotten opportunities to actually vend for her at Halloween Depot a lot this uh, last year. I think about like three or four times I vended for her last year selling her merchandise and stuff while she goes out and and does her character work. Um, So it's been a lot of fun to go to Halloween Depot. I look forward to it every time it comes around, and uh, I've had a blast going to Halloween Depot, especially, you know, going with Rob. Uh, Rob and I, uh, Rob likes to film the event, give a uh, little publicity to all the vendors and whatnot. And uh, we just like to go and hang out. And it's, it's, it's been a lot of fun in, in 2021. Number nine is going to go to Awaken the Spirits. Uh, Awaken the Spirits came at a time where, you know, we didn't, we knew we weren't getting Midsummer Scream, but the Midsummer Scream team kind of put something together. Uh, and it's such short time and it was such a success. Uh, it, it almost felt like we, we still had a midsummer scream. Um, but nonetheless, I, I had a fantastic time. It, it felt good to be back in that environment of, of the midsummer scream kind of convention style, um, area. And it was just a fun time to, to meet up with a lot of friends that we hadn't seen in over a year, um, because of the pandemic and just to, just to chat with everyone. And, and to see all the amazing panels, uh, a lot of our friends who came up to, to say hi with us, to chat with us, even the friends that hung out with us the entire weekend. It was such a fun time. It was great to be back in that environment. A lot of work gone into uh, post Awaken the Spirits with uploading content with not that entire week, but it was a lot of fun. And I, I would do it again in a heartbeat. And I can't wait to do it again, uh, hopefully this year at Midsummer Scream this summer. Uh, number eight. Uh, first year going to this haunt ever and no other person to do it better with than, than Rob, uh, from the Howling Hour, uh, Fright Fest. We got to check out Fright Fest for the first time in 2021 and we loved it so much. We went back two more times after that. Uh, we did a total of three trips to Fright Fest. Um, and thank you to the scare actors who, uh, hooked us up with comp tickets to go the, the next two times. Uh, really appreciate you guys. It was awesome to see what you guys do over there and how you guys interact and, and play with people. It, it was a lot of fun just to see it all and to do it with Rob for the first time. I think I did it with Rob twice. We uh, went to Fright Fest and it was a lot of fun. Um, I, I will never forget those memories because uh, that really opened the doors to ex- experiencing a new haunt um, and we had a lot of fun going to it. Number seven, seeing my friends do what they do best. Uh, I have a lot of friends who are scare actors. Uh, monsters and you know in 2020 a lot of them didn't actually get to work haunts um because you know a lot of the major haunts were were closed in 2020 so 2021 coming back uh you know we got to return to theme park haunts and to see a lot of my friends who i've become really close friends with over the last year um do their thing and you know, go back to Ghost Town and, um, you know, Carnival, not Scary Farm, and then to experience Fright Fest and meet a bunch of new friends over there. Um, it, it was just awesome to see that happen, to see my friends go out and have fun 
and to see them do their thing best. And then me just kind of sitting off to the side and watching them do it was a lot of fun, which brings me into number six, Hans returning. Uh, in 2021, it was um, it was a fantastic news when we found out Knotts was coming back, when we found out Fright Fest was happening, when we found out HHN was coming back, and um, Los Angeles Hayride was coming back with an actual full through walkthrough event. Uh, it, it was cool to just go back to haunts, not to mention, you know, 2020, the home haunts really stepped up and 2021, they went above and beyond to everyone that we went to, um, was fantastic. And just seeing haunts return to walkthrough style haunts again was awesome. I know 2020 was a very hard and uh, challenging year for a lot of haunts who were trying to attempt to do something in 2020, especially with COVID and social distancing and whatnot. So it was a lot of fun to return to haunts where we can actually physically walk and go through mazes and just kind of see all that again. I mean, it, it was a lot of fun and I missed it. Speaking of haunts, uh, Sammy and I did something for the first time. We joined Rob and his wife, Robin, on his birthday. This is going to be number five, Not Scary Farm Buffet. We got to finally try that after in 2019, we said we were going to do it in 2020. Didn't happen in 2020, so in 2021, we threw in the money, and we just said, fuck it, we're going to do it, we're going to have a good time, it's Rob's birthday, let's celebrate, let's enjoy some food, and the buffet was absolutely worth every penny that we paid for it, uh, I'm thinking that's going to be a new tradition for us here at the Knights of Horror, that we're going to go check out the buffet, um, so it, it, on top of that, you have monsters walking around and interacting with you as you, you know, are eating, and that, that's a lot of fun, so, you know, I was very, very very satisfied with how um, the buffet worked and the food that they offer and just the interactions that you get to have with the monsters before the actual event starts. It's a lot of fun. Number four, uh, I want to thank Drek Society for this one because they gave me the opportunity to scare act for the very first time ever in a maze. And that was a lot of fun. I will never forget that night. Um, you know, we got to you know, go out to the event, and uh, I, I arrived a little bit earlier before the event actually started. Um, I got to talk with Sean and and the rest of the crew, and and just interact with everybody. And then it was time; it was go time, and I had a blast. Um, you know, scaring people, scaring kids, and it was just a lot of fun. Um, and I I will do it again in a heartbeat. If if anyone else would be welcoming to have me out for a night, uh, I would love to do it again. Uh, number three. This is a huge one. This is the top three. Uh, I put this at number three because the other two, um, they are important to me, but this this one's just as important. These these last three, when I was listing, you know, the best moments of 2021 were the hardest to put in the order that I put them in because if I could put them all in number one, I would. Um, but number three is going to go to actually meeting the Queen Mary Slider team. Uh, for those of you who don't know, 2021 we did a in the beginning of the year we did a whole week long uh or a whole month long thing of where every week we had a different podcast from the queen mary slider team this is when i first met them and fast forward to today um i talk with them every single day they're some of my best friends and they invite me out places i invite them out places uh we're constantly doing stuff if i'm not seeing them in person i'm playing with them on xbox um, but I'm constantly talking with them. I'm constantly seeing them. And, uh, yeah, I, I owe all that to my good friend, Scott Dieterman, who actually set up those podcasts and really kind of introduced me to them and them being them really welcomed me into their, their clique, their group, their, their family. And, you know, I, I'm always thankful for that because, uh, I was in a rough spot before that and to finally get to do those podcasts and then finally get to meet them as people it's just been a, a amazing experience and there's not one day that goes by that i'm super thankful for that so um yeah number two this is a good one because you know um i i've said it before many times on this channel there is no nights of horror without sammy um sammy and i are a unit we're a team and going to haunts is our thing uh, every haunt season, we know we are busy. Uh, we are going to be doing things. And Sammy now living in Arizona, for him to make the, the trips out that he could last season was amazing. Um, we got to go back to Knott's, which was amazing. We got to go to Hayride. We got to go to um, HHN again, uh, Castle Dark, uh, the Haunted Car Wash. You know, I mean, we, we got to do a lot of things this this season together. Even though he lives in Arizona, he made it out a few times, and, and it was just well worth it. And I'll never not enjoy going to haunts with that guy because me and him, 
we know exactly what we think. We know we know how each other thinks, and me and him know exactly what to look for and and what we're gonna like, what we're not gonna like, and stuff. So it, it's a lot of fun going to haunts with my best friend, and um, I can't wait to do it again this year. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Number one is going to be probably the most personal out of, um, you know, the entire list for me. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, 2021 didn't end the best for me. The last two months were probably my darkest months I've ever had ever. And uh, I think starting this really helped me um, become a better person and honestly just... Uh, get a lot of stuff out that I had just kind of buried in there. And that's starting therapy. Um, therapy for me has been doing wonders and it, it's brought me back to the mindset of wanting to do this again, because I was in a mindset where I honestly was going to call quits on all of this and I was going to hang it all up and call quits and just go to these haunts. Don't even worry about filming it or anything. Just go and enjoy them. Uh, and going to therapy really uh, snapped me out of that and really gave me the opportunity to open up to uh, someone who can guide me in a professional manner, in a professional way. So um, therapy has been doing wonders for me. And um, if anyone out there is going through any mental health problems, um, therapy has worked for me. And it's always, it's don't ever be afraid to, 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 to seek professional help and to talk to someone because it really does help. It really does. Um, it helped at least for me. I know everyone's different. So, um, just know that you're not alone in the world and that, um, there are people that are always going to be there for you no matter what, whether they're family, whether they're friends, um, they're always going to be there for you. So don't feel like you're, you're alone in the world because you're not. I'm here to tell you that right now. Um, I was in a very dark place and I felt like I was alone in the world. And through the support of friends, through the support of family and going to therapy, it's been really helping me a lot. And I am thankful every single day uh, that I get to entertain you guys and uh, talk with a lot of you guys and be friend with a lot of you guys and and just keep this process going. If it weren't for therapy, I don't think Night Sohar would be here right now. And I, I want to thank that. I want to thank my therapist. Um, I want to thank the community. I want to thank each and every one of you, my family, everybody. From the bottom of my heart, I love each and every one of you. And you guys are the reason why I continue to do what I do today. So, yeah, I appreciate all of you guys from the bottom of my heart. 2022 is here and we're just getting started. Um, we have a lot planned. There's a lot to do. So let's get to work. Um, I'm Anthony from the Knights of Horror. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button with that bell notification. Be aware every time we put up a new video, smash that like button. Helps a lot via the algorithm to uh, push the content out there to get it out there to like-minded people like yourself who are interested in this stuff. Uh, follow us on Instagram at the Knights of Horror and follow us on Twitter at Knights of Horror. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys next week.